Hello everybody, my name is Serious Gamer, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale United States Heavy Cruiser tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the USS Northampton. USS Northampton, CL-26, or CA-26, was the lead ship of the Northampton-class heavy cruisers in the United States Navy. She was commissioned in 1930, originally classified as a light cruiser because of her thin armor, but later reclassified as a heavy cruiser because of her 8-inch guns. During World War II, she served in the Pacific and was sunk by Japanese torpedoes during the Battle of Tassafaranga on the 30th of November, 1942. She was named after the city of Northampton, Massachusetts, the home of former President Calvin Coolidge. Joining the Atlantic Fleet, Northampton made a shakedown cruise in the Mediterranean during the summer of 1930, then participated in a fleet training schedule which took her to the Caribbean, uh, the Panama Canal Zone, and occasionally into the Pacific for exercising, exercises with the cruisers and ships of all types. Redesignated as CA-26 in 1931, in accordance with the London Naval Treaty, she operated primarily in the Pacific from 1932, home ported at San Pedro and later at Pearl Harbor. Northampton was one of six ships to receive the new RCA-CXAM radar in 1940. She's also one of the ships served heavily with the USS Enterprise before she sank, of course, in the Battle of Tassafaranga in late 1942, but she was also present during the Battle of Midway and many engagements during the um, Guadalcanal campaign and the Solomon Islands camp campaigns. Overall, I think this model turned out decent I mean I'm trying to use like trying to get used to a new style of building these cuz of accuracy and stuff but I think this turned out looking pretty okay there is a few things that I couldn't get done with the superstructure but overall I think she looks okay for um, an attempt. So yeah, um, if there are any ships that you would go that you would like to see on the channel, let me know. Um, you know all right, it's got five space marks over there. I think. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into this. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing, uh, the same as I usually do it. I'm going to be doing it in layers. I'm going to do half of one layer, uh, off of camera and stuff. And then I'm going to do the other half of it on camera to show you how to build it. Um, if you're building this in the water, which I assume most of you probably will be. Um, you're going to want to start this first layer off on the top of the second block underwater. And then, yeah, and aircraft carriers weren't very big, uh, back then. There's a cruiser with an aircraft carrier. Of course, you have Enterprise. I uploaded her a couple nights ago. You can see her. Anyway, so you want to get brick slabs. You want you go one block on the top of slab. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six, 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 six
30. You got a row of 30 brick top slabs. Then you want to skip three spaces and you want another brick top slab. And then on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the tenth block back, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 for top slabs. And then you want to copy that to the other side. When you're done, you should have something that looks exactly like this. And you can move on into layer 2. Alright, moving into layer 3, you want to go to the front, you want to take your red terracotta, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 blocks, and you want a brick slab on the side, and you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 red terracotta blocks, and you want three brick top slabs, and you want to go to the two, three, third block forward, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen red stained glass panels. And going back, you want two brick walls, skull and skull, you want to break the brick walls, and you want to put, replace them with end rods, and you want in the center, you want one, two, three, four red terracotta, Two brick top stairs facing each other, a brick block, and then a brick top slab. And then when you're done, you should have something that looks exactly like this from the top. It does it for layer layer two, moving on to layer three. Alright, moving on into layer 3, you want to get an anisite wall, you want to get a stone block, you want to place a stone block on top of the first block, and then you want to place an anisite wall in front of it, and then you want 1, 2, 3 stone blocks behind it, and then you want 1 stone slab, and then you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Stone blocks. On the fourth block back, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Light gray stained glass panels. Then you want a stone stair on the back and then where these end rods are on the side, you want two skeleton skulls. You want to go inside, you want two stone blocks, and then a stone stair. And then that finishes layer three. And then from there. From there, we can move into our next uh, layers because they are very weird, to say the least. And I think I did the same thing for New Orleans, which is all the way over there. That's what I got prepared. Starting off, okay, 
so to start uh, layer four, I'm going to place a stone stair on top of this wall. And then you just kind of want to place an end rod on top of it. Behind it, you want one, two stone, sta stone slabs. And behind it, you want to place a stone slab on either side with a burnt fence gate in the center. Behind that, you want two stone bricks with stone slabs to either side. Alright. Then you want a stone block in the center with stone slabs on either side. And then you want a floating skeleton skull here. And then you want gray wool on in the center and then stone block on the other side and then a floating skeleton skull and then you want to do that same thing one two three more times so da 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 <laughs> and you want two stone blocks on the inside with stone stairs on either side and then skeleton skulls on either side and then in the center you want a stone slab. And then on this next space back, you want an andesite wall on the full blocks on either side. And then you want to skip two spaces. You want one, two, three, four. Four rows of three. So one, two, three, and four. with light gray stained glass panels directly on the side. Why did I put this too far forward? Like that, and then you want a stone block in the center, stone slab on either side, and the skeleton skull on the on the side of the slab. Then you want two rows of three stone uh, stone slabs in the center. Two rows of three stone slabs with upside down stone stairs on the side just like that kind of like a sofa looking thing and then you want a forward facing stone stair in the center with a stone slab on either side and you want two stone full blocks in the center with light gray stained glass panel on either side just like that and then you want two stone slabs in the center two stone brick slabs uh, a birch fence gate open backwards you're going to skip a space polish black stone buttons on either side and then behind those you want a row of one, two iron trap doors, and then you want a birch fence gate open back, and then 
two end rods stacked on top of each other. And then cover up any stone left with carpet. And that does it for layer four. Moving on into layer five. So starting off with layer five, you want to go to this first stone block. You want to place two stone brick slabs and a brick fence gate in front of it. Then you also want to place a brick fence gate behind it, open backwards. Stone block with birch sign on the other side, and then another stone block with pole and fence slab on the other side. And on the other side of the hull, you want an end rod. In the center, you want a stone brick block with an iron trap door. And behind those iron trap doors, you want one, two, three, and four more. With a birch fence gate in between the uh, last ones. You want a wall in the center, stone slab on the side. With skeleton skull on the other side. Polished deep slice slab in the center, stone slab on either side, and then polished andesite slab on either side from there. Stone brick in the center, stone slab on either side. Skeleton skull on either side of that. Stone stair in the center facing forward. Stone slab on either side. Polished andesite slab on either side. And you want a wall in the center normally. Just like that. On top of these uh, stairs, you want levers flipped out to the side. On the side. You want a smooth quartz slab on the inside behind these um, levers. In the center, you want an andesite wall with smooth quart with a smooth quartz slab on either side. You want stone bricks slab in the center. with a normal end rod on top of these glass panels and then a stone stair on the back of it nothing to either side and then a skeleton skull on the back of it that does it for layer 5 moving into layer 6 and then from here we can move into our last couple of layers all right so on the front here, on top of this first, no, actually, before you do that, I'll front the front to fill in these four carp four exposed stone blocks, carpet, and that works. Okay. And you want a stone stair with a birch sign on the front, 
and then it's still it's still on either side. North stone block, the center, the stone stair, upside down on either side. On top of these previous end rods, you want an end rod. And on top of the stone bricks, you want another one. And then skip this base. And you want two. landscapes and just like this you want an end rod on top of this wall you want stone bricks on top of the previous one iron trap door on top of this iron trap door skeleton skull on top of this wall with an end rod coming off of the front of it, like this. End rods on top of the previous ones, and then an end rod on top of the stair. Moves that does it for layer six. Moving on into our, we can move on to our final couple layer, couple of layers. So we're gonna start off with the bow. I'm gonna place a normal block. So you can place the skeleton skull on the front of it, and you want an end rod, place another one on top, and a set wall, and skeleton skull on either side, and if you want, you can also place um, a dark oak trap door on top of it, so it opens forward, there's a radar, And going behind this, you actually want a birch fence gate in between these two end rods. And then you want two on top of each other, one on top, open forward, one behind it, open back. And then you place iron trap doors on either side of the bottom. Um, Trap door. No, the fence gate, yeah. Like that. And on top of the gate. In the back, you can place two more end rods on top of each other. No, you cannot. You want to place the skeleton skull on the back of this wall with an end rod to either side and on top of it you want two end rods and on the top one you want an end rod on either side just like that and then moving on to the funnels you just want to place a dark oak trap door on top of them And then go to this end rod, place a block on top of it, and then place another end rod in front of it, break the block. I'm going to place a forward facing stone stair on this end rod. I'm going to place a skeleton skull on the sides, on the front, and then you want a birch fence gate on the back. Place an iron trap door, and then on top of this uh, skull, you want two end rods on top of each other, and an end rod to either side on the top one. If you want to do the rigging, it's right here. You, know, you can take a picture of that or whatever, and then build it. If not, that concludes my design for the USS Northampton CA-26. I hope you all enjoyed building her as much as I did. Um, yeah, if you'd like to request 
any builds, those will be open in the comments. I might get around to them, I might not. Um, so if you request something, don't expect it to get done. Um, but you know, if uh, I feel like getting to it and I think it's a good request and I have the model for it or I feel like building it, I will do it. Um, other than that, uh, that'll conclude this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.